ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived here in Tulare, California at the famous Thunder Bowl. The pit area is absolutely packed for this year's Trophy Cup. Now the Trophy Cup, I feel like is one of the most difficult races to win in all of sprint car racing. It's kind of like a hidden gem out here on the West Coast for 360s and it's kind of what ends the season as well as it's one of the final races of the year when not a lot is going on. So therefore, it attracts all the heavy hitters. You have, you know, a lot of 410 racers that run on the regular that are here with a 360 and a variety of different cars. We're here with the 18T. This is a race that I've ran a couple times in the past, almost won a night of Trophy Cup actually in 2022. So we'd love to repeat that success. Uh, excited to be here. This is our final race of 2024 as well. So we just want to finish on a strong note. The Thunder Bowl's a, a difficult racetrack. It, it's exciting, thrilling, intense. There's a lot of words that you could use to describe it. And as we walk up to the track, here's a look at the Thunder Bowl from the back stretch. Some insight on this race because it's so unique and it's not like any other. The Trophy Cup is 100% based off of points throughout the entire weekend. So what that means is the goal is to gain the most points that you can to set yourself up for Saturday between Thursday and Friday. With that, there's inverts in heat races, there's inverts even in the preliminary night aiming events. So the guys that are sitting the best might not necessarily be the guys that win each night. Now, of course, you have to finish close to the front. That gets you more points, but the inverts really shake things up. And going into Saturday, the highest point cars into the final A main event are going to start dead last, 24th. And then from there, you have to run your way through the field. And who accumulates the most points after three nights is the Trophy Cup champ. I know what you're thinking. That's a, a little confusing, but that's just how they do it. Like I said, there's inverts all weekend long. And of course, you do want to win each night, but it's important to qualify well, get through your heat races, and just pass cars every time you're on track. That's what you got to remember you got to pass cars from the beginning of Thursday to the end of Saturday and the guy that wins the trophy cup could finish third he could finish sixth he could win the race you just don't really know it's such a toss-up so that's a little insight on the race and then I'll do my best to kind of keep you guys cl clued in kind of as we go through these videos and where we're sitting and how we're doing but we're ready to get night tonight underway I think we're expecting anywhere from 60 to 70 cars and the Thunder Bowl it's always intense so it should be a good show Right, so we just got out of the 18T after qualifying. 360, 410, doesn't matter. Tulare is, uh, is always nuts. High speeds, kind of long straightaways, really tight corners. We went out late in our flight and ended up 20th quick. We got 65 total cars here in the pit area. Man, wish we were a little better in qualifying. Um, hot laps, it was pretty greasy, kind of hard to judge. And then, you know, the track picked up about half a second, maybe almost a little bit more from hot laps. And it was right on the fence in one and two. Three and four was a little farther off of it. Felt like I got through three and four good, but I don't think I made as much time as I could have in, in one and two. I kind of like got down the straightaway right, tried to get my car in the right spot. And I think I just kind of turned off the top a little soon. Wasn't able to follow it around. And therefore I just killed a little bit of time. It hurt my momentum. Them, and it just didn't get me off the corner like I needed to. Felt like I got down into three and four, entered in a good spot, made decent speed, but overall not getting through one and two is probably what hurt me from, you know, maybe being closer to the top 10. So now we're going to start on the front row of our heat race. It's not necessarily ideal for points. We are front row outside though, so if we can win it, we can transfer directly into the A main event. That's the only way for us to get into the A main event right now. We have to win the heat race from the outside front row, but they got a lot more qualifying, more cars to go, so it's going to be a little bit until we roll into the heat. So after qualifying here, we saw a pretty good track rework. Luckily, we were in a later heat race, so it really didn't affect us as the track ended up slickening back off by the time we got back out there. Greater fan is myself and Dean Mills. And, sorry, some other people, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
You will be serving me. Well guys, we uh, didn't do what we needed to do there in that heat race, started second and finished third. Got an okay start on the outside, it was kind of difficult. The racetrack, they worked it before we went out, but we were so late in the heats that it kind of burned back off to where it was almost like, similar to qualifying in one and two, three and four though was much slicker. It was basically like slick to the wall and where the cushion was, there was no real grip in between. Like it was just slick to the cushion, which is just straight on the fence. And like I said, I, it was kind of difficult to get a good start just because I was kind of stuck out in the middle uh, got through one and two tried to get around the outside of uh, Bud Kading he was on my inside kind of got in a spot where I just wasn't able to get around him and he was kind of able to slide in front of me we did have a restart and that was my chance to what I was gonna do is try and slide him into one and two and he kind of blocked and I tried to run the bottom and just got in a bad spot and lost momentum off a of turn two and the car behind me slid in front of me that's where I finished but um, just don't feel super stellar right now I feel like I'm not really good unless I'm like really in the cushion, super dependent on it. So we're gonna try to tighten up a lot and just try to find some grip. We are in a B main event though right now. We are uh, starting 12th. So just feel kind of down and out so far about tonight. I'm trying to get past that. I don't, I don't know, it's just so frustrating. Um, you know, not qualifying good, then not winning the heat race and getting right into the A to try to at least make up for it a little bit. It's just been kind of an uphill battle. So I just don't feel like I'm driving like myself um, because I also don't, I don't know, I don't know if it's just me and my car aren't working together and we, we just gotta get better and so I can and attack and, and I just need to attack in general but um, so it's been tough but anyway we're gonna roll out for the B main event for transfer we're gonna be starting 12th so uh, we have a long road ahead of us there but just try to get some more laps to learn for the rest of the weekend try to make you know make the 18 T better and faster
Well guys, I'm a mess. I just got done with a 20 lap B main event. We started 12th, finished 5th, came up one spot short. Obviously disappointing that we didn't make it into tonight's day, but I will tell you, I feel happy about how that B main went. I wanted to try to end the night on a positive note. Uh, I knew it was gonna be tough coming from 12th, but I felt like I ran a smart race. Our car was infinitely better than earlier in the night. Like I just felt like I could attack the racetrack. I had grip, I ran the bottom, I ran the top. For the most part, I felt like I was pretty smart about my lane choices on restart starts to advance. I wouldn't say the track's like impossible to pass right now, but it is difficult because the top is pretty fast and there's not a lot on the bottom. You can't just hustle the bottom. You gotta be really patient. And I just took advantage of a late race restart there, jumped from seventh to fifth, but just wasn't close enough to get to fourth. I was hustling and really tried to put together some, some quick laps at the end and got close, but just not close enough. Overall though, like I said, we wanted to do much better tonight. Of course, we wanna be competing for an A main event win here at the Trophy Cup, uh, but we're gonna watch the rest of tonight. I have a little bit more to chat with you guys on, man. Won't lie. The end of, end of this year has been a, has been a struggle. You kind of saw how tonight started, you know, just so slow and couldn't figure things out. But it seemed like at the end of the night, though, we at least found something, and that should help us a ton for tomorrow. So it's the next day now. They're working on the racetrack. We're working on our car in the pit area and getting ready for the rest of the weekend here at the Trophy Cup. Watched yesterday's feature, and man, it was an intense one. I really wish I could have been out there. Guys were absolutely beating the boards down. There was a super intense race for the win. Uh, they were in heavy lap traffic. Like It was difficult to pass even the guys in 20th, 21st, 22nd to put them a lap down because everyone was just so fast. Yeah, it ended up being a good show. Uh, racetrack kind of held up. Kind of like how it was all night as far as being top dominant. Hopefully they can get a little bit more on the bottom uh, just so we have more lanes of racing. But Tulare, as always, you know, it's a it's a good one. So I uh, wanted to just quickly touch on one thing before we end this video. I think it's kind of been no secret as we've went through the last like couple months and after we kind of got back from the Midwest, it's been very up and down for our team. And when you get in those slumps as a driver, man, it's tough. You, you question a lot of things. You're unsure of like if it's your car, if it feels like it's you or like why things aren't working together well. And I feel like that we've had a little bit more of that common lately, and I've been trying to really power through it, man. It's hard, like racing, dirt racing specifically, is mentally tough and physically tough, and like there's just a lot of aspects to it. And like I said, I'm really working on it. Motorsports, like any sport, it is physically demanding, but also I would say like 75% of the game is mental. It's huge. That's why the seasoned veterans out on the road do so well because they they have worked on their mental game. Like that, that's a big part of it. And so anyway, lately as we've kind of gotten this slump, in some ways I just haven't felt like myself behind the wheel and I'm not really sure why uh, like I said I feel like a lot of it is when we've gotten our car close and, and when I just feel comfortable like I can attack the racetrack just like in that B main event where earlier in the night I just wasn't able to make the same speed and therefore then I'm also not driving the car the same and I can admit that but yeah so it's just I think that's been the tough part of these last few months like I said end of August to kind of now it just seems like when we're off a little bit then I'm more off as a driver and when we're close to where we need to be like for example that B main event where there was good cars like I was able to attack the racetrack I felt good I felt like I had grip and I could just drive the race car hard and trust it and put it in different places and still make speed and then also make smart decisions because the problem is when you're a little timid with your car you also make bad decisions because you don't react fast enough you don't put your car in the right spot you end up in worse positions and yeah it's just that's dirt racing but so anyway I always try to be open and honest with you guys and I think obviously you guys have seen it um, and that's part of dirt racing you see guys go through you know a couple good months a couple bad months and for us we've just tried to dig out of it and we've had moments but we haven't been able to consistently build back some of the speed that I think we've had at different points and and I've really been working hard as a driver but luckily tonight's a new night so we have a fresh start and like I said we have a better starting spot I think with our race car that will help uh, help us go faster and I'm just looking forward to another opportunity and wanting to finish 2024 strong so thank you guys for always standing behind me through the highs and the lows and riding with me for this journey and my family and my team and my partners like like I said, we've really been trying to build this. It's just tough. Motorsports is tough. Um, I always say it's the hardest thing you'll ever do in your life. So we're gonna keep riding the wave, keep digging, and we'll catch you guys in the next show. Deuces.